Let's start with the lock screen. In the bottom right, I have replaced the camera shortcut with sound recognition by Shazam. I rarely use the camera shortcut, since we can simply swipe left on the lock screen to open the camera. I've also added my name on the iPhone lock screen, and if you'd like to do the same, I've created a video tutorial on it. You can watch it later by clicking the I button or checking the pinned comment. When swiping down from the right, the control center is organized in the bottom half section for easy one-handed use. Frequently used controls like calculator, Shazam, and alarm are placed on the right, while essential controls such as low power mode, torch, and screen recording are on the left. Continuing with the one-hand usage theme on the home screen, content creation apps are grouped in a folder on the right, including apps for manual camera controls, photo and video editing apps, along with social media and analytics applications. The frequently used widget stack is located on the left for easy access. I find these widgets useful as they allow me to open apps and access the keyboard for quick searches in just one click. Apart from the widget stack, I have the Notes app for taking quick notes, the App Store for installing and updating new apps, and the Settings app for making any changes to the iPhone. In the bottom dock, I have placed the Phone app, followed by Photos, the Default Camera, and the Messages app. If you tap on the Search button, you will notice that I do not have any suggestions at the top, maintaining the minimal theme I am aiming for. To achieve the same minimal theme on your iPhone, you can go to the Settings app, then swipe up to tap on the Siri menu, and disable the Suggest apps before searching option. I've set up my phone with a single home screen page theme, and all my other apps are in the app library. When I swipe left, I have arranged the necessary widgets for my usage. Starting from the top, there's the calendar widget for upcoming events, followed by the battery widget stats when connected to other Bluetooth accessories. Below that is my most useful shortcuts widget, where I can restart or shut down my iPhone with just one click, instead of going deep into the settings app where you can only power off your iPhone. Since the latest iPhones have brighter displays, the set white point toggle comes in handy to dim the display brightness even more at night. I've also added a perplexity widget below, which I use for research since it gives me more useful information than the ChatGPT application. And finally, I have the weather widget at the bottom to check the daily forecast. I also like to create illustrations on my iPad, and I've created these three iPhone wallpapers, which you can download for free using the link in the pinned comment or video description. If you'd like to support my channel, you can buy me a coffee as well, which is highly appreciated. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to TechLoper for more such iPhone tech perks that works. See you over there.